It's a clash of the titans in African club football. Zamalek have never been under more pressure. There is huge expectations from fans as the clubs reach the Champions League final for the first time in 14 years. And they'll start the competition without home advantage. The team's roster only has 18 players, three of them goalkeepers, so they are barely covered with substitution options. Five players have one yellow card on their record, which means they might be afraid to engage in the march and risk missing the home game. They've also lost twice against Sundowns in the group stages, so they're likely going into the march in fear. But the White Knights have a record of success under pressure. They also have experience on their side. With five continental club titles, they're the second most successful club in the competition, just behind their arch rivals, Al Ahli. Mamelodi have never won the title and will be hungry for victory. The last time they made it to the finals, Al Ahli snatched the title in 2001. The Sundowns coach is very smart. He's capable of dealing with such marches wisely. On many occasions, he's shown that he doesn't underestimate Zamalek despite all your victories. Sundowns have put on a great show this season, and I think they have the players with the right skills to win. At the end of the day, it's the biggest African title, so both teams have a 50-50 chance. Zamalek's manager Moment Suleiman is going to the game full throttle. In a televised interview, he swore that if Zamalek don't win, he will resign. Luckily for the Egyptians, the second game will be played at home, and fans will be allowed to attend the final, so they have a chance to make up for any misfortunes in South Africa. It's the toughest challenge Zamalek are facing since their comeback three years ago. Winning all national titles, the African competitions, CAF Champions League in particular, should be enough for the White Knights to prove that they are the legendary club they used to be. Adel Mahrouhi, CCTV, Cairo.